In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I color grade my DJI Mini 3 Pro footage super fast. Really easy to do. Let's get straight into that video. Now the Mini 3 Pro shoots really high quality 4K video. It looks brilliant, but we can make it look even better with some simple color grading. Now I don't personally spend a long time on color grading any of my shots. If it's a cinematic video, I'll probably spend longer, but I want it to be as fast and simple as possible, but with the highest results. And that's what I'm gonna show you today how to do this. Now the Mini 3 Pro shoots in both normal and D-Cine. D-Cine is a 10-bit color profile, so you're going to get the very best quality using that but it is a flat color profile so you then have to color grade it and this is where it can go wrong you can end up color grading it too much and the footage just looks terrible so i'm going to show you how to color grade that let's get into it so I've got seven shots here loaded up and each one I've color graded, but I'm gonna take all them edits off now and go through each one of you and show you how I edit this. And for this, I'm using Final Cut Pro. You might not already have this, this is what I use as my main editor. And if you have a Mac, if you go into Safari and type in Final Cut Pro trial on Safari, then you can get a 90 day free trial of this. So you can actually go and download this and then have a go yourself, and that's great. If you do it through the App Store, you don't get a free trial, but through Safari, you do. So let me just go now and take off all of these edits and I'll start straight back from scratch and show you how to edit these. So the first six clips here are all using the d cine -like color profile. This is what I prefer to use myself because then I can edit it and the quality is just that much better than using the normal color profile. But you can see from looking at it, it's a really flat looking image. So how do we start with this? So there's two options. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I like to keep these things simple and fast, and then I can do more things. So I don't wanna spend hours editing one clip. Unless it's something like a cinematic video, and I will spend longer. Generally, I want to take about a minute at most per clip. So you can do this really quickly. And whatever editor you're using, if you're not using Final Cut Pro, like DaVinci Resolve is fantastic, better than this for color grading, or even other apps on your phone or your iPad, they've all got these same sliders that I'm gonna be using today. So this first clip here now, this is a lovely top-down shot over the water. So how are we going to color grade this? So the first thing I'm gonna do is for this shot, I can either do it manually, or I can add one of my LUTs. And I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this. First of all, I'm just gonna add a LUT. I'm just gonna go into the effects browser. I'm just gonna type in LUT, and then I can drag this onto this first clip here. Now in the custom LUTs here, I've got my own Mini 3 Pro LUTs, and a load of you have already picked these up. If you haven't, I'll show you how to use them. So Mini 3 Pro LUTs here, and because we've got here the Creator Edition, so we've got normal and we've got d -cine like LUTs. So I can just select the d -cine like LUTs here. I can just select one, so let's go with Gigantis, and then automatically look at the difference there from the flat color profile to now that profile is on, and you can just see here now it looks 10 times better. So what is a LUT? Well, a LUT is basically how you're going to change the look of that video. So do you want it really saturated? Do you want it really fiery? Do you want it teal and orange? Do you want it like really moody? Each one's gonna be different, and I'm gonna show you a various ones, but I also like to manually change things as well. You see, a LUT isn't always the end product. Sometimes you can drop a LUT on, but then you have to tweak it a little bit as well, and that's what I do, and it also comes with a little bit like to do with strengths how strong you want that effect as well. So this first shot here now, so I've just added that on. I mean, that looks great as well. If we look at the lunar waveform here on the top left-hand side, you can see here now where the 100 mark is. It's peaking there. We want it in between 100 and the zero. So that now is spot on. So for me, if I was just doing a video, I could just literally keep it like that now. And that looks awesome. I literally don't need to do anything else. If it was being really finicky and I wanted to do one extra strap, I could just come into the color profile here and I could just bring the highlights down slightly, ever so slightly. That shot now is edited. Easy, simple and easy. Let's move on to this next one here, this lovely Gigantis area with this hotel on the front. So how are we gonna get this to look better because it's really flat? So I'm gonna show you now an example of how I could manually edit this to start with. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna look at the lunar waveform here on the left hand side and see it, it could be decreased and it could also be increased as well. So in the effects browser here in your color palette, so I like to use the color wheels. So the highlights, I could increase this and it's now going to go up to that 100 mark. So I'm gonna increase it a little bit there. I can get the shadows and I can bring them down so they're just about hitting the zero mark. 
And then the midtones, think of this like contrast. So I can either increase or decrease that contrast. And by increasing it, it's going to be really washed out. And then it's going to be too dark now, so too much contrast. So I can add like a little bit of contrast. Then if I go back up to this global wheel here, on the left hand side, this is going to affect your saturation. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. They end up looking, or their footage looks like they've just come back from Barbados every single shot. And it looks like this and it doesn't look real you know it, it's never going to look like that so be careful on these sliders don't be too aggressive with them so i don't want it to be like that but i also don't want it to be black and white either so for me if i was going to be like this i'd just have it a subtle increase and that there if i just turn all of those effects off it's gone from completely washed out to now a little bit of manual color grading and it looks 10 times better if i just play that clip now you can see that looks brilliant. But what I can also do, now I've actually manually color corrected it, I can now go and drop a LUT on as well, so I can get one of my custom LUTs. But now because it's not a flat color profile, I want to choose one of the normal color profile LUTs. So I'll go to the same folder here, I'll go to that creator pack, and I'll select the normal color profile LUTs. And I've got a few different ones to choose from, but I really like for these type of shots, Lakeside. So I'm gonna click Lakeside, and all that does is it just basically adds a little bit more contrast. It increases some of the highlights around the uh, hotels here, and also increases a bit more saturation, but it's subtle. So if I turn that off, you can see now that's the before and that's the after, and it's a slight increase. It basically just darkens this scene, but it looks cool. Just play that back now, done. Simple, so that one took a little bit longer because I manually graded it, but still, look at that. Next clip. This next clip now is again the Gigantis Mountains, so we're, we're away from the actual hotels now. So how do we make this area pop? So again, I could do manual color grading, or just to keep this really simple, I'm gonna show you how fast this is. So I'm gonna drop the LUT onto here, I'm gonna go down to the Mini 3 Pro LUTs, I'm gonna go to the D-Cine LUTs, and I'm just going to drop on, on here, Natural Glow. And straight away that gives it some contrast, it's boosted them highlights for me, it's brought the shadows down, and I can play that back, and it just looks great. And how long did that take, what, 10 seconds? Again, I could then go into manually adjust some things. You can see if you look on the left hand side, it's not all the way down to zero, so I like to just bring them shadows down a little bit more, give it a little bit of that more of a moody, aggressive look, and just look at that. I mean, I've made these lots, so they're so simple to use. You might have used others where you have to drag them and drop them on, and then you mess around with them sliders of the strength so much, you might be only adding 20%, 30%, because they're really aggressive and baked in, and you don't want that. These just pretty much drag and drop. Okay, next one, another beautiful area. So we're over that Gigantis area. We're going backwards now, so you can just see some of the hotels coming in. You can see the harbor. This is a fantastic shot. So let's make this look better. So we're gonna drag the LUT onto here. We're gonna go and select the, let's have a look. Let's select the Sunkist one. So this is another great LUT. And that there, straight away, you can see the lunar waveforms. It's pretty much spot on. We can decrease it a little bit. But I don't want it to be too dark, no? I just think that looks great to start with. So we've gone from one shot to the next shot in, what, 20 seconds for two clips edited, which both look brilliant. This, this is spot on. Okay, this one now. So now we're on the opposite direction. So we're now looking at the hotels. So we can see now there's a lot of glare coming onto these hotels anyway, because a lot of them are white. So they're gonna be reflecting. So the highlights are pretty much high already. So this is a D-Cine like flat color profile. And you can see that in the lunar waveforms, it's nearly at 100 anyway. So what can we do to sort this out? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag on a LUT again. And I'm gonna select here the other favorite one of mine, which is the Gigantis look, which is where this has been filmed. So this makes sense, doesn't it? So we're gonna select this one. And this adds a ton of saturation. So this is where we can play around with what's called the mix or the strength of the intensity of this LUT. Now you might already like this and then you can move on to the next clip. But for me, I'm gonna just do a few subtle changes. So I think it's a bit too saturated here. So I'm going to get this mix slider and I can actually take the complete LUT off at zero or I could have it around 50% or increase it a bit more to straight away to 100. So I'm gonna keep it round about the 70, no, maybe a bit more, about the 85% mark. So just a little bit less. And we can see the effect that that's put on. So from, from basically nothing 
to adding it on and that looks pretty good already but you can see this hotel here in the middle this orange one i just think it's a bit too zingy so what i can do here is i can go onto the effects of the color and then i can select some hue saturation curves now this is really good for adjusting certain colors so it could be the blues here could be that orange so i'm going to select this dropper and i'm going to put this over the hotel i'm going to put on basically press onto there and then I can just either increase it and make it look really orange or I can decrease it and just pull down some of those oranges a little bit. So now that's it. So that took one extra step, but that now is looking fantastic. Easy. Okay, the next shot here. So this is a really good shot. This is in Turkey, fantastic area. And this one, I'm just going to add my look onto here and then I'm going to go onto the lots again and decently like so we go across and for this one I'm going to show you Sakalobra so a really fantastic place in in Mallorca that I've named this after this again just adds lots of saturation but with subtle amounts of contrast that was basically drag and drop and that is now sorted so I've gone from flat color profile to add in it okay and this one here so this is a normal shot so this is what it comes out with straight from the drone so not a decent like color profile so what normal does is it's basically already applying its own lot this is already doing it for you but it means then you can't really do much yourself without ruining the quality of this and because it's not 10 bits it's not going to be the best quality either so what can we do here if we look at the lunar waveform, we can see it's pretty much peaking at 100 and then the shadows, it's around about the zero mark. So there isn't a lot we can do, but we can do subtle things to make this better. So what we're going to do, so this is a normal color profile, so I can still add on my own LUT, but I'm not going to now add on a D cinema LUT. I'm going to add on a normal one. So I'm going to go here, go to the create edition and then go to normal color profiles. And for this, what I like to use a lot in the normal color profiles is just to set and forget and this is just a really subtle lot. But I have a few different options here what I can do. Now each one isn't going to always work. So it depends on the shot and where it is. So for instance, if I select boost mode here, it's gonna look a bit too dark and a bit too oversaturated. So what I'm going to go with is just that set and forget for this one. So that just adds a subtle amount. If we can see here, this is the before and that is the after. But or I can go another one. Cine is also a really good one in normal. So if I go to the Cine lot, this just makes this scene look a bit darker, which is maybe one I'm going to use. But that's great because what we can do here is an effect I'm going to show you. So Cine is also good, but I think I'm going to end with um, the glow lot. I'm just going to select this and see how this looks. So we'll go with glow. Yeah, I see, I like this shot because this gives me this like retro look. That reminds me of like Miami in the 80s. <laughs> so I like this, but we can do some other tweaking. So let's just keep that there for the time being. And what I want to do is just something extra on this. So you can see here now on the mix, I can decrease it again, or I can increase that strength so I can have it really high up. I'm going to, for this, I'm going to have it about 80%. So now if we go here, I'm going to select one of the color wheels, but I want to highlight the hotel area. So I'm going to select a mask. I'm going to add a shape mask and I'm going to put this mask around the hotel here. And I'm going to make this mask a little bit lower as well. So I'm just going to drag it in. So it's this area. And then the great thing about Final Cut Pro, it has a built in tracker so it can analyze what you drag that box around. And then it's going to basically just affect this area. And we can do two of these now to make this stand out more. So you can see now it's quite a dark shot, but I'm going to make sure that this area here pops. So this is going to be the focal point. So it's done that there. So now I can go into here and I can increase the highlights or decrease the highlights. And it's only affecting that hotel. So we can increase the highlights a bit more there. We can also give it some contrast by bringing down these midtones and shadows. And then if we want, we can also increase the saturation and make some of the orange on top of that building highlight as well. Just click done there. And it's just a subtle area that that's now um, increased the look of that. So it stands out a bit more. We can do the same again now, but we're allowed adding a tracker mask. We can go onto the color wheels again. And we're just going to now select shape mask again, but I'm just going to select a normal shape mask. And I'm going to drag this area out because I want it to highlight this whole area here, just where the hotels are and not the actual cliffs. So if we put this round about here, I'm just going to bring this one down a bit and then just rotate it. I'm doing this really fast for you guys, right? So we'll keep it round about there. And then I'm just going to increase the highlights a bit. So it just 
boost this area, bring the shadows down a little bit, and again, a little bit on there. So now we've got basically a, from a normal color profile, we've then put a lot onto here, I've added some trackers on here. So basically that hotel stands out a bit more and then also the hotels as well. So if we go and look at the before, so this is what the DJI shot was like and it's a good shot. It just looks a bit flat, it just looks a bit, nothing stands out, nothing unique about it. And then we can add this on and now it looks, I just think, 10 times better. And it just gives this vibe, this like Miami Vice vibe. I don't know, you might not like this, but you can change this, you see. So that's that with that lot on. So it gives this effect. I think that looks really cool. Like I'm really impressed with that. And it's such a fast edit. So all of these, whether they're using Destiny or normal color profile, you can color grade your footage so simply. And then if you don't like that look, I can just change that glow look and I can go and just add on the cine look. And that's just going to then look like that. So if that affects too much for you, we can add on the cine lot, which just gives us this like moody vibe. And again, it looks fantastic. And it just looks so much better than the normal color. So taking all the effects off, this is the before and this is the after. So even in normal color profiles, don't just use normal and then that's it. That's the end game. Everything, no matter what it is, can be color graded to look better. So that's basically it. That's how I color grade really fast and efficiently. Either manually color grading or adding a lot on or adding a lot on and then manually color grading as well. But whatever step I do, it doesn't take long. Now you can spend a long time color grading. For instance, DaVinci Resolve have so many different color grading tools and that's fantastic. For like films or documentaries or high level cinematic videos, then yes, yeah, spend longer, 100%. But if you're just making some drone videos or you want your drone videos that you've taken to look even better, you can and color grade it and I can show you here now how you can do it so easily and fast without spending absolutely ages color grading your footage. So if you want to go and check these looks out they're on my website now they're actually on sale so go and have a look at those I'll link them in the top of the description or you can pick up the creator combo which gives you all of these looks and Lightroom presets for your photos as well so you're covered for everything but the current offer at the moment is if you buy a creator combo which is $24.99 on sale add that to your basket and then go and pick up one of the DJI Mini 3 Pro cheat sheets you get the cheat sheets free and these cheat sheets are fantastic so what a great offer that is if you want to pick them up all linked in the top of the description so if you enjoyed this make sure you like and subscribe hit the like button if you've enjoyed this and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye